What's up guys, Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games here, and I'm back. I'm going to give you a raw review. I did not have time to give you a drama script this Saturday, but I'm just going to briefly go over last night's raw, which was actually good for a change. It seems like they finally have everything that's building to something. I think that they need to go back to literally only having one pay-per-view a month, like every four to five weeks instead of Raw has a pay-per-view every two weeks, and then SmackDown has a pay-per-view every two weeks. Now that both shows have a six-week, well, now five-week, five-week build to a show, it seems that they can concentrate, concentrate more on starting to build up to an actual story so the feud can actually have a good ending when it gets to the pay-per-view. So, let's, Raw was great. I like the, the build between um, Seth Rollins and Triple H. The promo Seth Rollins had with Stephanie McMahon, Rollins is definitely trying to get Triple H's attention. And I feel that one way or another, Triple H is going to show up and respond. He may come out next week, or he, if Rollins is in the Roma match, I can see Triple H doing something to get Rollins eliminated from the Royal Rumble, continuing the food, and then they have their match at WrestleMania, which I hope that's the plan that they're going to go with. Uh, the Cesaro versus the Cesaro and Sheamus versus New Day rematch for the titles. That match was was good, uh, and Cesaro and Sheamus retained. So it seems what is the New Day gonna go on to do from here? We we don't know. Uh, once again, MVP of the night goes to Braun Strowman. Whoever writes his one-man cave lines, I don't know if he's writing his own lines or if someone backstage or one of the writers is writing his lines, they're, they're brilliant. Because Stephanie McMahon found Braun Strowman yoking some backstage staff member up and she asked him, Braun, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm looking for Zami Zayn. And his, his response to where, to where Zami Zayn was wasn't fast enough. Then she goes, I already put you in a match between Seth Rollins. He goes, I'm multitasking. Plain, simple, straight to the point. It's fantastic the way what they're doing with Braun Strowman. And then, then he comes out and then he rips apart um, Bo Dallas. Uh, what's his name? Hold up. Bo Dallas, Darren Young, and both the Shining Stars just ripped everyone apart so he could get his match with Seth Rollins and then Sami Zayn came out during that match and attacked Rowan from behind and then Sami Zayn ran off and then next Monday it's going to be a a last man standing match between those two on on Raw which should be interesting to watch uh, Bailey gave Gold Dust, a Dusty Rhodes teddy bear for Christmas. And then I, I even forgot the club existed before Anderson came and ripped the hat off off the doll. I, I seriously forgot all about, about Anderson and Gallows. I forgot they existed. And then we have Jack Gallagher challenging Navari to a duel on 205 Live tonight. And I really, really like heel Nedville. His two promos as a heel, the one last week and this one on... This one on Raw were fucking fantastic. He came out, he beat TJP, he beat him, even though he grabbed the tights, but a win's a win. Wasn't no outside of interference, or he didn't use a weapon, he just grabbed the tights. Uh, Nedville is going places with this heel character. Uh, if they don't put the belt on him tonight at 205, I think they need to have a match at the Rumble where he should win the belt because Nedville is hot right now. He's 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 back and he's he's extremely good in the ring and he's he he fits so well with this cruiserweight division. It's like you can't you can't deny his hotness and his his fire that he has right now. Same thing with Braun Strowman. I'm a thousand percent happy if Braun Strowman wins the Royal Rumble. Even though there's a small chance that might not happen. I am happy if they, because he's destroying everything right now. All in all, just to get his hands on Zami Zayn. And even though Roman Reigns won the match last night, 
he's still out of the Royal Rumble, which everyone will, which everyone wants. He still has his main event match against uh, KO with Chris Jericho in the start tank, so he can't interfere, which I I feel is is stupid. But you know, we're just we're just loyal fans that just watch. But all in all, we got the Bailey feuding with Charlotte build up. Uh, Charlotte saying she went to a lawyer and got that that went over Bailey race so it doesn't count and then Charlotte beats Bailey with a quick roll of pen because what's her name Dana Brooke was the referee so it looks like we're building slowly up to to the Royal Rumble but raw was just raw was just good it was a there was a the first good raw since KO won the belt so yeah, it's been the first, it's been that long since I've seen a good world, and this is I gave it a three out of five. But uh, please live, uh, please leave your thoughts on what you thought about last night's RAW in the comments for a section below. And until next Saturday, guys, I'm out of here. Later and peace.